You're watching KPVI News at 10 Weekend. News that works for you. Well, we were able to get outside and enjoy some part of today because it was a beautiful summer day. Maybe you're enjoying the fireworks show out in Blackfoot. Definitely a beautiful evening to get out and enjoy that weather. Here you can see on Storm Tracker forecast just some very light thin clouds pushing their way through southeast Idaho as we zoom out just a little bit. You can see the moisture to the south of us moving its way through Utah. Cloudy conditions that's eventually going to be stretching into central portion of Wyoming and then to the north of us kind of going through the central mountains that has since passed and is now going through the central part of Montana. So for the future trackers we take a look at what's going to happen tomorrow. Clouds are going to be uh, kind of moving on in through the morning. We might see some uh, cloud build up throughout the or later morning into the afternoon and maybe into the evening as well with those showers staying to the north of us in through Montana. Now for tonight, beautiful conditions, mostly clear skies, overnight lows in the 50s. As you can see, the half century mark for Idaho Falls, Rexburg and St. Anthony, low 50s for American Falls, Pocatello and Blackfoot. As we move now to the highlands in western Wyoming, mostly clear skies tonight and that's going to drop us into the 30s for Yellowstone, kind of a cool, e crisp evening for Yellowstone, but mo mainly the 40s and low 50s for parts of Afton, Jackson, and Soda Springs, Driggs, and Island Park. Now, for the Central Mountains, as we mentioned, a little bit cloudy activity uh, going in through there. That's going to remain with us throughout the evening. Day, uh, overnight lows expected to be in the 40s for Ledore and Stanley, 50s for Salmon, Arco, Mackey, and Chalice. Now, as we take a look at what's going to happen for your Sunday, more clouds moving in through the Central Mountains. Highs getting up quite comfortable. Mid-70s, low 80s for the areas through there. For the Highlands and Western Wyoming, clouds as well. Look at those temperatures. 70 for Yellow Yellowstone, kind of a beautiful, perfect day if you're going to be visiting the Bison. 78 for Afton, 79 for Jackson, 78 for Island Park. Now, in through the Snake River Plain, a few clouds coming and going throughout the day. Not too bad. Some light winds anywhere from 10 to 11 miles per hour. But our daytime highs, look at that, getting into the 80s, mid-80s for Rexburg, Idaho Falls, Blackfoot, and Pocatello. Not quite getting that 90 degree mark, just remaining in the upper 80s. Now, as we take a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven day forecast, yeah, this is the question on everybody's mind. What is the 4th of July going to be like? Yeah, maybe you're going to get out of town. Maybe you're going to watch some fireworks. It'll be beautiful. 80s for the start of the week. And look at that. By Thursday, 81 for the high. Just a few clouds, light winds. It's going to be beautiful because you're not going to have that, you know, scorching heat what we've seen on some 4th of July's. Idaho Falls, yeah, beautiful weather stretching through the week, 80s for much of the week. In fact, 80 degrees for the high on your 4th of July Thursday. So for Rexburg, we're going to get into the 70s for us to, uh, tomorrow on Monday, then 80s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Next weekend looking to be pretty nice, shaping up to be a nice weekend with sunshine and highs in the 80s. Then for Jackson, Afton, and Driggs, cloudy conditions, highs in the 70s to hitting 80 degrees on Tuesday and Saturday. And then for the Central Mountains, yeah, we're looking for cloudy conditions, highs in the 80s with overnight lows in the 40s and 50s.